Welcome back, everybody, to part three of our reaction to Maverat. I'm Javi Kuwait, joined by Haley Seats. Hard to beat. And uh, I don't know what that means, but anyway. <laughs> it could go any direction. It could be domestic. It could oh be video games. Gosh. It could be so many different things. <laughs> well, let's just assume it's a competitive thing. Uh, we are continuing forward. If you're wa You are watching on YouTube, so you're seeing a cut-down version of our reaction, as we can only show a limited amount of picture-in-picture, -picture. but if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykuwait, or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can open it up. In an adjacent window to our reactions, we give you a 3 2 one countdown sync, and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite synthesis from the internet. All right, let's get back into this. Here we go. They all say urgent, too. I'll see. There's not even a report. <laughs> Shit. Yep. Oh, he hit his head again. <laughs> Does that count? Hopefully. Sir, our soldier is going to be cut down. No. He is going to be cut down. That's the idea. He is going to be cut down. Hey, the election is going to be cut down. Oh no, it's only a day away. That means that night. Sir, you Hey! Oh my gosh. This is not not It's been revealed. Hey! minister? <laughs> It's like a Tarantino script. <laughs> He's gonna hit him right now. Hey! Oh my god! Whoa! Yo, this took a turn I for the was worse. I not expecting that at all. Hey, you want to take a little bit? Papa, what? You want in there? Well, great. Hey, Ira. What the heck? I've never seen this before. They're gonna hit him with a broken bottle. Just one good hit to the head. Come on. I just want one more fight scene with this voice helping him out because the choreography <laughs> and the camera work is so cool. Does he have to die again? Maybe. Because that's what he's doing by jumping in like that. They're like, what the hell? He's putting himself in a very perilous situation. But is he dying a coward or is he dying a hero? <laughs> hey! Building Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go find out, guys. Is that rock gonna hit him? Virame Jayam Kadaluk Kadil Puldi Kilapik Kundu under the Nanguram. He's going to ride the anchor up. Nice. Nice. Back to that tribal music. <laughs> Whatever this fight is, it has to like, <laughs> it has to best everything we've seen so far. Cause it's built up really, really well. Is that an axe? Yeah! 
<laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Damn. Oh damn. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Oh damn. Oh, they set that up too. I know. I got scared as soon as I saw that broken glass. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Stay down. Just stay down. Oh. Dude's thrashed. Well, oh, just stay down and you'll uh, probably better off. He's gone cuckoo. I mean, he already was cuckoo, but... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, he's gone off the deep end there. Yeah. I don't know what film that reminds me of. He, he, yeah. he killed his own best friend. I guess it's kind of like Scarface. Do you ever see Scarface? I actually have not. Oh, okay. You guys have to get far away from the building, too. Cement workers? I don't know what Gravel. the plan is. I don't know what they're the like, plan is here. They're like, we're going to fix it right this second. Yeah. We were on top of it. Yeah. Y'all don't oh, worry. Oh, they're locking them in. Huh. <laughs> This is almost like the end of The Lion King. <laughs> no, don't go back inside. Oh. Come on. Oh my god, come on. You could have easily he called out the fact that he killed his best friend. But he's like lived with you guys forever and you guys are not taking his word. <laughs> you go inside. The building up Good call out. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, he oh, didn't. He, he fought he, back. He, he didn't went. duck and now he's the <laughs> the warrior. Damn. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's so many. Great shot. Nice stacking. Nice stacking. Like 300 up in this bitch now. I know. We're in Mavir and I, Marina. The great warrior. Then we're a good to Makale Kapatrina. Mutrum. Oh, no, he's he doesn't need because he doesn't need the voice anymore. Yeah, that's sad. I would, I'd want to keep that voice. That voice could come in handy for like lovemaking. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Nice. Oh god. I'm a gagger's character than air. Building in the person in here. I'm on the tongue in there. Hey, now I'm a sir. 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 Oh, oh, what? Oh, his own people. Oh, it's gonna fall on him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the end of Hook. <laughs> <laughs> Who's over there? Satya, the main oh. character. Oh, 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 I thought for some reason he was standing next to her for a second. Hopefully it pancakes. 
இது ஒண்ணு இல்லமா Oh, you're right. See? You're right. I knew there had to be somebody because he's going to have to go in there. Yeah. Oh, it's a kid, too. I don't know if you can get up there in time. You will. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah. You will, but she, he won't come out of there alive. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. He knows what he has to do. <laughs> I think he ran in to go get her. Oh, to go Maybe. Get I don't know. He was trying to also be the hero. You're not meant to be the hero in the story, though. He is. Oh, dang. He's the great warrior. <laughs> so I was saying. Oh, my lord. He's going to jump out the window, but then... Oh, he's gonna have to. There's no other way now. Maybe someone down below will catch her or something. Pretty high up. Put her on your back. Okay, he's gonna carry her. He's gonna jump. I would I would have put her on my back. Oh, he did like oh, ooh, that was a little bit of a rough landing. Well, I guess it was realistic, he dropped her. Yeah. Well, he spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, all that rebar. I oh, my know. gosh. <laughs> if you continue doing that, you'll make it down. Just, like, pop floor to floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the worker down. I thought about something like that earlier, but I was like, ah, they don't have time for that. You guys need to get, like, underneath. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, damn spray. Can he get out? I, mean, I feel like he could hop down. Is he gonna do that? I don't think so. The hitting of the head. I really have no idea how this is going to go. I can't tell if they're going to kill him off or not. That's so traumatic for the mom. I mean, there's still a chance right now. No, I don't think so. I think you he's think out. You think he's done done? Yeah. I feel his eyes are going to open right now. No. No. I mean, it kind of 500 Days of Summer you, you know? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's the ending. Yeah. See, the only reason I thought that is because, like, he's wow. hit his head again, like, you know, and that was, like, the big thing to bring him back. So. No, they did a 500. Oh, did you see that? Did it said it inspired by Stranger Than Fiction. And I also saw the San Andreas, the Quake, or something else. Oh, there's some more stuff here. We, okay. I, can't, I can't go back yet. Okay. I'll, I'll roll back after. Hey, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. तुझे देखा तो ये जाना सनम ये तो गाना है गाना बा The contract he signed was just a song ये तो भी चढ़ाई वाला नाला है ना बेना वहीं की प्यार होता है दीवा He's singing the song now See Who this It's him Oh, you're right. He... So I guess it could be like an alternate ending if you thought of it, like if you didn't watch the credits. Yeah. I don't know if it's intentional, but this kind of has Christian overtones. I was thinking the same thing just now. Like if he came back three days later, Open. So see, see, that was the shot I was waiting for. Yeah, they tricked us. 
because he hit his head and that's why i thought yeah i was like okay his head got hit so you have kind of like an alternate ending if you want it like if you didn't watch it you could just end it right there yeah i just need to say but you know because i know that uh some of you guys have a short attention span and don't want to hear the whole discussion. <laughs> so the thing I need to get out before anything else is that this has the best fight scenes I've seen in an Indian film so far. Really? Like I hands, mean, they were really good. Hands down. Just okay. like the best. The stacking that they did in that tracking shot was so perfect because there were instances where it wasn't like connecting cor correctly but everything was moving so kinetically that it didn't mm -hmm. matter but stacking is where like if the i've explained it before but for those of you that don't know like if i wanted to demonstrate hitting Haley across the face i'm not going to go right here because you can see the gap right so i'm going to go here and if she reacts at the same time, it looks like it connected. Mm -hmm. And so, sorry, I guess Haley can be beat. <laughs> sorry, that's a terrible joke. You got it tied uh, but, in. But yeah, and so the fight scene was just so dialed in and between the choreography, the way it was shot. I don't know where they pulled inspiration from, if they pulled inspiration from anything at all, but it definitely gave me the vibes of, of um, Upgrade, which is a very, like, it's an indie sci-fi action film where this guy is like paralyzed or something and he's, in, he's fused with a computer so he can walk again, but it also enables him to fight okay and so the computer's in his head telling him what to do and then like blue beetle kind of has the same thing now because he infuses with the machine and okay. is like doing all this stuff and so the narrator in his head was giving him the same kind of superpower of like being able to react to stuff and the way like in that scene where he's inside the mansion and he's just like trying to avoid the fight talking to the guy while doing <laughs> the choreography i'm like yo the timing and the camera work was so good i have not seen another fight scene in india look this good it just was on point the dance scene was on point too yeah and then that like I, I whoever yeah was in charge of the choreography for both stunts and dancing on point i would imagine i would imagine it's different people yeah but but i'm yeah. saying both the people that they hired yeah fantastic so Satya is played by siva karthikian great actor i've watched him before in a film called doctor i believe and i liked him better here than i did in, okay. in, in doctor yeah i mean he was good in doctor as well yeah yeah but he did great yeah the only thing i wish was that he kind of found his uh sooner his found yeah. his like whatever his mission sooner but it still came together in a really strong way the ship fight wasn't quite as strong as i was hoping okay. Um, but like that aside, like it still kind of amped me up and pumped me up for like what the character was going through mm -hmm. in a very, very like visceral way. I, I just, I really liked this journey. I liked how it was told. I liked the acting, the music, the, what it stood for. The CGI got a little bit ropey at the I end. Very, yes. I yeah. noticed the same, like the whole time it was really, really good. And yeah. then as soon as that building fell on top of the guy, he kind of like glitched i don't know if that was what it was uh, and it, then it, it, was it being, got a little weird after that yeah it was being very very ambitious with the cgi uh like it really wanted to do a lot which i respect it i mean yeah. you know go for what you want to go for but it, it did look a little goofy sometimes but i still just kind of went with it yeah of course uh, he died in a very captain hook the bad guy died in a very <laughs> captain hook kind of fashion i kind of low-key wish that sathya died at the end oh, yeah but, it it I thought, because I thought he was going to wake up, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm fine with that ending. And then all of a sudden, the two years later, there yeah. he is. Yeah, but it worked for what it is. Like, it, it kind of gives you somewhere to go if you want to do a sequel. I'm trying to see who did the choreography, because I'm just so... Uh, Yannick. There's the assistant coordinator. I, I don't know who this guy is, Yannick Ben. He worked on The Family Man, which I've watched. So I've got the IMDb in front of me. I've watched... I haven't watched IB-71, but knowing he worked on this makes me m feel even more excited about <laughs> IB-71 because uh, it stars Vidya Jamwal, who's excellent. And oh, so okay. knowing that this choreographer worked with Vidya Jamwal, that could be magic. I don't know this. I just, I, I know The Family Man, and The Family Man is really strong. But, uh, oh, Kuda Hafiz, chapter two. I need to watch that now. I watched part one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, Tiger's in oh, the Oh, Ghost in the Shell. He was a stunt performer in that. Oh, he was a stunt performer in Dunkirk, too. Yeah. So I, it looks it, like he yeah. did stunts and then he transitioned over to being a stunt director. Started parkour in, two, in parkour 2003. Yamasaki, yeah, Japan, no professional stunt mentor. Hmm. Uh, France, the national gymnastics champion. Okay. I'm sure my friends know him. I, I am not familiar with Yannick Ben. I have not met him yet, but I'm sure he's connected to a bunch of my stunt buddies. Excellent. Excellent <laughs> work. Just freaking fantastic i always look for names to see if i, I happen to know anyone okay um just because then i can shout Makes out a sense. friend and yeah. be like yo that's great <laughs> i thought it was really cool how they took this thing that you see a lot in south india 
where it's like this one dude who kind of rallies the people against mm-hmm. the man, like against mm-hmm. the gangster or the mafia, or the politician who's taking advantage of the people. That's very much in line with the kinds of stories we see from this region. But it kind of, what do you call it? Well, you flipped it on its head, mm-hmm. you know, in that he didn't want that position. He kept fighting. It was almost like, almost he like. He was fighting it for almost the whole movie. Yeah. It, it was it, like, no, it, it, I'm good. Yeah. If you took the prayer at Gethsemane or whatever, what's that called? Where Jesus was like praying to God oh, to I say know. like, please don't give me this path it was it was the very beginning of passion of the christ if you took that and you made a whole story out of that <laughs> right until like finally he accepts what he has to do you know what i mean cuz like jesus didn't want to die on the cross he was like yeah. please god like don't let me i, I don't, don't want, want this to, to. i don't Think want this so. fate you know <laughs> and so the whole time he's like yo i don't want these problems i just i don't want this fate i don't want to die mm-hmm. um but then eventually he accepts it and i i almost cried when he looked at his mom oh my god and he, yeah. he looked at it and they, like he knew what he had she knew too yeah, she knew yeah. it's like he accepted his fate even though the cgi was ropey there like i was like yo this is like kind of f-ing with me a little bit emotionally because it's his acting just i bought into it mm-hmm. you know anyway you're more from like the acting side of things how did you feel about this is like you haven't seen too many indian films no, this is my second one yeah yeah so. no i i really enjoyed it i felt like he didn't ever like lose character mm-hmm. or, or like it seemed like he was always I don't know how you'd say like I guess he was always like super super motivated throughout the whole thing. Like I don't know, I really enjoyed it and I love the mom. The yes. mom she was she was hard, but she was she was a really good one. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, and the bad guy. The bad guy's Oh my great. gosh. Yeah. 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 I he was he was a little scary. Yeah, so um I'm afraid to tell you about Scarface because I don't want to ruin that ending it's for you. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna because <laughs> you might you might watch it okay. and here and I don't I don't I don't, want, I don't want you to know what's coming. But there's okay. like it gave me a bit of Scarface vibes, it gave me a bit of training day vibes. Okay. It gave me and I don't know if these are in actual inspirations, but Probably. it's just like I feel like people mm. pull things from a bunch of different stuff, you know. It's possible. But he didn't mention it at the he end didn't. In, in the he end credits. So. Yeah, of all things. He right. was in yeah, it was but, that's a rock right so, yeah. so have you seen training day i haven't seen that either okay i'm not gonna tell you what happens <laughs> um but yeah like the ending kind of gave me training day vibes as well and, it, and so again i don't know if those are those are inspirations but it's just like how it connected with okay. me i thought that it did a really even though i was like I, I was confused why satya wouldn't say more in that moment when he's confronted with the question of like wh- like who's telling you all this about the building and he's mm-hmm. like well the voice in my head mm-hmm. and so it's He's the, the bad guy still had blood on his shirt. Like Yes he did. You know, it's like you can you, you can call that out, but it's like again, like the Lion King ending between Scar and Simba. <laughs> yeah. There are some obvious questions you can ask and you just didn't for some reason. Yeah. Um but it, it it just like helps to, you know, create more dynamite, more drama. But that was a clever way to call him out by asking him would you stay in here right because i was like what else can you do at this point and then i didn't even think about that yeah that was a good good way to do it no it was great i love the way it was shot i love the way it was directed i i loved the characters in this film uh yogi babu you know returns again to he's he's the heavier guy oh okay yeah yeah that's what you're talking about in the beginning yeah yeah he's great every time what he brings i don't know what it is but he it's like he grounds the movie in a very interesting way yeah He's a very a very real person. Yeah. yeah. There's something about his just presence that always like just amplifies the film in, in a wonderful way. Like everything he was kind of commenting on, his reaction to stuff. Just a fun character to spend time with, you know? Yeah. And like you said, the mom who's played by Sarita, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. She did a really great job of like just being that, you know, Asian mom that you <laughs> just kind of know. You just like, you know that Asian mom who's like very hard on you and has certain expectations that seem unreasonable, but there's still underneath all of that hard experience exterior is nothing but love you know she even went through her own kind of arc in the story of yeah like, she know. stopped fighting yeah a little bit like i don't know if that's a bad thing like she was like so discouraged but because i think before she was fighting maybe too much mm-hmm. so she yeah learned a little bit yeah and then she kind of just acquiesced and was like all right fine we won't fight mm-hmm. and then she comes back around at the end because he comes back around at the end mm-hmm. she's championing her son and supporting him i thought all that stuff was great yeah um this and- Go ahead. I guess she'd be considered the love interest, but they didn't actually have a love story. But I kind of like that they did not have a love story. Like <laughs> You're right. You're I actually right. enjoyed that because then you kind of focus more on the whole issue at hand rather than focus on him having to save her for some reason or something like that. They they did not have uh, a love story, which mm-hmm. is the temptation. Mm-hmm. You know, you, they resisted that temptation, which is very unexpected. Uh, I was fully expecting it to go there. There yeah. was like no Nothing. music break 
of their relationship at all mm -hmm. like nothing that's very interesting like at least I don't recall a music break that sticks out in my mind uh, alluding to that relationship and where it might go I mean we can assume as the audience eventually that's where it would head but they didn't like yeah, but, yeah. They didn't absolutely go for it. I was saying, you know, they very like the two years later. Yeah. She was just they were at work. And yeah. She was like, okay, like, but there was no, there was nothing more. How did you feel? I mean, because because uh, you've grown up with Western cinema like myself, but like you've seen the change that's been happening in cinema in the last five to seven years mm -hmm. with a more f intense focus on like strong women, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, how did you feel about the female characters in this film? I like them. Again, I like that they was not focused on the love story because then it always makes kind of like a damsel in distress situation mm -hmm. happen. Um, the mom was very stood up for herself. The sister was like, she was kind of there. She didn't really do too much, but. I felt like it was it had a good like balance, and I, I I don't think that there needed to be any more because it was his story. Yes, yes, it yeah. was his story. But what I find often is that in Western cinema they kind of beat you over the oh, head yeah. with it. Lately, they've and, been for and, sure. Yeah, and in Indian cinema they've been doing strong female characters for a while. Sometimes okay. you find it where there's like a, kind of a damsel in distress, like what the hell, like why is she, <laughs> you know, even a warrior chick in, like in Bahubali, it's like why isn't she fighting? But yeah. um, I have seen examples of strong female characters demonstrated, exemplified in Indian cinema way more mm -hmm. in Indian cinema than in American cinema where it's just like that's just a strong female and yeah. we're not harping on it. It. We're not making a point of it. Yeah. She's just strong. Like there's this moment in Blue Beetle where um, the the main character is trying to like stand up for the woman in the film okay. to protect her, right? And then later on, there's a conversation between them, and she's like, you know, I don't need your help. I can take care of myself. <laughs> and she has like this whole thing for the woke members of the audience who don't want to see a guy protect a woman. Okay. And I'm just like. I feel like it, like, yeah, I feel like it can go either way, but I, yeah, I don't like when it's over the top, just like, it's forced. Yeah. Like, the character is only strong because it's being forced to be that yeah. way, rather than, like, that person's actually a strong person. Yeah. Yeah. And so the way that they uh, developed uh, our main character, Satya, becoming as strong as he does was very interesting because a lot of times I'll watch a South Indian film and for no clear apparent reason that main character is just really really strong and a kick ass it could be Surya mm -hmm. it could be I'm talking about people you don't know now Mahesh Babu <laughs> it could be um, who else am I thinking of I, I can't remember the other guy's name now Vijay okay that's what I'm thinking of Vijay so like you have these three guys who are just like when the film decides that they are gonna fight, they fight like Jackie Chan and they're not, or Bruce Lee, and they're just kicking ass. Whereas here, they actually built in like a really good excuse. The thing in his head is what's informing all of his movement and whatnot. There's like a magic to the film, yeah. and you just kind of buy into it. Mm -hmm. And then by the end of it, it's like, okay, now I'm just accepting like somehow with all the magic and the fusion and all that, it, it, he's able to take care of himself and able to kick ass by the end. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just, I really like how they kind of just held our hand through that. You know what I mean? As opposed to just for some inexplicable reason, he can yes. kick ass. Yeah, he actually kind of like, it seemed like he kind of learned yeah. as he went. And then I feel like it was like muscle memory at the end because like, you already learned. You've done these fights before. You know what to do. Yeah. Like, go for it. Yeah, because one of the things you sort of have to just accept with certain South Indian films sometimes is that like, if you have a certain actor like like Surya mm -hmm. um, or, or um, the guy I just mentioned a second ago, Vijay, mm -hmm. If they're at the star of the film, you kind of have to accept there might be fight scenes and they might just destroy the other guy for <laughs> no good reason. They're just equipped like that. They're just made even, that way. Even though they just work at a desk, you know, or something. There was a movie, the first movie I watched with Surya was, I think was called 24. And there were like fight scenes in the film. I'm like, how is he able to do any of this? <laughs> and I like, that was my first South Indian movie. And I quickly learned, oh, this is just like something you just have to accept. Like okay. that just happens. Here, they built it into the mm -hmm. story. And I'm like, yes, I applaud this movie so hard because from the story, the acting, the fight scenes, the music across the board, this is definitely one of the coolest, most fun South Indian films I have watched to date. Yeah. I really, really like it a lot. The music was so rousing, the dance sequence that they had I in know, there. I know, that like... 
I don't know, like that tribal music they'd bring in. I'm like, ooh, okay, something's going to happen. Yeah. Like, it gets you a little excited. Yeah, this was fantastic, man. Yeah. I, I can't stop singing its praises. And uh, Siva, Siva Karth, I can't, oh gosh, if I could commit his name to memory, <laughs> Siva Karthikian. That's a long name. Yeah, I, this is the second film that I am aware of that I've watched of his. And he's just, he did such a good job of playing that guy who transitions from not wanting, like the Jackie Chan to the Bruce Lee, <laughs> you know, of like, I want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> to being the like the warrior who was just like even during the fight when he was saying sorry yeah exactly <laughs> so no it was very Jackie Chan inspired in my opinion <laughs> yeah. and so the choreographer uh, who, who's who's his name again Yannick Ben mm-hmm. great job We've worked very very well with the stunt team to deliver just absolutely mm-hmm. home or as an Indian might say as a sexer you know as a home run I loved it. Uh, Sixer is a is a cricket reference. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like that's a great great job, like a home run. <laughs> no, I really liked it too. It was it was entertaining the entire time, and I felt like it was a story that you don't. I mean, it has a lot of influence from different things, but it's a story you haven't like heard before. Right, mm-hmm. right. Sometimes Achara like asks me to watch a film, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Like there are instances where I'm just like. I'm bracing myself for it not being as fun as I would hope it would be because sometimes when so many people are asking for a particular movie, it, it sets up this high bar and high mm-hmm. expectation. I'm just like, this is not resonating with me as much as I hope. And I have to tell you guys that, and then you guys are disappointed or something. Um, this film totally resonates with me. I'm very happy that I got to watch this. I'm hoping that this reaction is popular enough that we can have other people on the channel watch it because I feel like the likes of Andrew downstairs, I can hear him shooting right now, <laughs> Michael, like, or even Achara, like I, I, this, they would love this. Yeah, this is this is really, really, really good. Up you guys, <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out. Really glad that you you hung out all the way to the end of this video. And um, if you're still here, hashtag Sifakarthikian kicks butt, <laughs> okay? I'm Jabby Koi, this is Haley Seat. Peace out.